Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to install service packs, hotfixes, and Windows patches in Cluster. In this demo, you'll be learning number one, determining which node you decide to apply patches or install hotfixes. Number two, moving resources to other nodes from node you would like to patch. Number three, bring, bringing resources back to patch node and validating if all works fine after you've finished installing the service packs and hotfixes or Windows patches. Number four, cluster aware updates for Windows 2012 R2. This is the uh, bit new feature and we'll be talking about and looking at it a little bit uh, uh, in detail that what it is and what it does. Uh, but uh, up here, uh, number two, once you move the resources, all the resources to other node and from the node that you decided to patch, you, that is the time basically you can go ahead and install the service packs or hotfixes or windows patches right there once you finish doing that you need to make sure that you bring the resources back to the patch node and follow these these things right here are very important they're high level and important things each one of them are very important if you are missing any of that you need to basically uninstall that patch because you got an issue number one the cluster services are available if the uh, um, cluster uh, you need to check if cluster services are available and came online all right on past node number two configuration report shows no errors or critical warnings you need to run a uh, cluster validation and validation report should not show any error or critical warnings after you install the patch server uh, see up here all the resources are online and stable when I say stable they are not failing back and forth just because you just um, there might be an issue of uh, uh, with the service pack or hotfixes or Windows update um, and number um, D up here all the application can access the resource on past cluster this is really really important uh, if your applications there might be a case that all the cluster resources are up and online on your uh, node that you just passed but you need to make sure that you contact your application folks and ask them that uh, check your application if they can access that particular uh, uh, your cluster resources uh, from the application if the connectivity isn't affected by the service pack or hotfix or windows patch whatever you did on that node so once they give you green signal then you can go ahead and uh, apply the patches on the other node in my case i have two node clusters so i will go ahead and patch node one and then i'll go back uh, and bring all the resources to node one and uh, run through all these points that i just mentioned once that's good enough then i can go ahead and um, patch my second node and this is how it doesn't matter how many nodes you have in your cluster this is how you should do it move the resources to other uh, node and then install your uh, hotfixes service packs or windows patches number four up here is bit new cluster aware updates for windows 2012 we'll be going through i'll be showing you in uh, cluster uh, manager that uh, how it works back behind the scene if there are windows updates um, what it's going to do is um, and it requires that node to be restarted um, it's going to basically automatically take all the resources and move uh, to the uh, configured you have to configure cluster where updates uh, is, is also known as CAU so also you once you configure that then on the configuration part it's going to take that configuration and move all the resources to the other node and uh, restart and install all the patches and all that and we will look into this in a second so let's go ahead i i do have a two node cluster right now uh, at the bottom of the screen you can see that uh, tbs node one tbs node two this is my two node cluster so i'm going to go ahead i decided to go ahead and patch tbs node one so um what I'm going to do is move all the resources from node 1 to node 2. First, you fire up the failover cluster manager and you see that what resources are running on this particular server. So you can use um, any node basically to use failover cluster manager and take a look on this information. First, up here, click on cluster name and you will see that name of the cluster and current host server of this cluster. As you can see that right now, my cluster services are being hosted on TBS node 1 and I would like to move these services to node 2 so I'm gonna go ahead and click on more actions right here click on move core cluster resources and select node right here is my node 2 I'm gonna click OK 
it doesn't take really long to move the cluster services to another node now let's go ahead and go through the row uh, row or uh, roles right here i have two role uh, three roles uh, one is SQL Server Instance, SQL Prod, and other SQL Server Instance, SQL UAT, and MSDTC role. These are the three roles. As you can see that one of the role is running on node 1. Since I'm going to patch this uh, node, um, I need to move this resource from node 1 to node 2. So I'm going to go ahead and basically go ahead and move that. You need to right click from here or you can select the particular node that you would like to move and click on move on the right side or right click on that uh, particular resource and click on move select the node and we have uh, TBS node 2 available so click on that and click OK and wait for it um, all the resources needs to be come online on other node as you can see the resources uh, are going offline and then coming online once this uh, status is online and stable you are good to go so basically this is how you will move resources from one node to another node as you can see that everything is gone to um, uh, node 2 as far as the roles concerned and look at the node I do have two nodes node 1 node 2 both are up and running look at the disk this all this should be on node 2 right here networks are up and online so right now after I moved everything to node 2 my node 1 is basically ready to install hotfixes service packs or Windows patches I'm gonna give you just an example right here uh, if I can find any patch I, I don't really have a patch to patch right now on my SQL serve um, on my Windows I thought I downloaded um, basically one patch but uh, anyway this is the time that you can go ahead and install all your patches once everything is installed uh, this will take whatever the sequence of that patch is your system administ uh, let's say that your system administrator is going to install some Windows security patches and then you can being a DBA you can tell them that all my resources are gone to node 2 node 1 is you can send an email node 1 is ready for the patches and let you know once the uh, um, all the patches are done on node 1 uh, once the uh, patches are done the SA will send you an email that uh, um, okay you can go ahead and move the resources back and let him or her know that uh, everything is working fine on node one so let's say that uh, um, let's assume right now that all the patches and hotfixes and service packs are installed and we're ready to go and bring the resources back to our past node and validate if all works fine right here we are just done with this step so let's go back to node 2 or node 1 you can basically use any of the node to use failover cluster so go to node node 2 fire up a, a failover cluster manager and it's gonna look the same exactly like it's looking right here just uh, to save the time I'm using the same uh, failover cluster manager so first thing I'm gonna bring my cluster services back to node 1 so click on that you can right click and click on more action and move the core resources from here last time we did from this side this this time we right click on that go to more ac uh, actions click on uh, move core cluster resources select node so I'm gonna go ahead and select to node 1 as you can see the cluster services are on node 1 let's go in the roles and move all these uh, roles back to the past node and see every if everything comes online so we're gonna go ahead and select the node 1 for this role go ahead and select UAT role as well another roll and move it to node 1 okay let's go ahead and select MSDTC services and move it to node 1 so now everything is coming offline and online and once everything is online then it's, it should be all on node 1 keep in mind that uh, what I 
um, if you if we go back right here I made sure the cluster services are available and we made sure that's available and now the configuration report I'm not going to run the configuration report but if you don't know how to run the uh, validation report watch my video I have uh, put together another video how to run configuration report and uh, look various warnings and errors so watch that video please uh, but uh, do run a cluster validation I'm gonna show you where it is though uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and look at all the resources are online and stable and all the application can access the resources on past cluster node so let's go ahead and go on node one as you can see that everything is gone to node one all of it and let's look at the disk all the disks should be on node one as you can see everything is on uh, node one you can go ahead and click on TBS uh, click on your cluster name and click on validate cluster this will open up a wizard to uh, validate your cluster after you moved it to uh, a patched node and you need to go ahead and run all the tests and make sure that you don't get into any warnings so I'm gonna cancel this and everything is basically on node 1 and I'm gonna just quickly see the if ever, everything is online so uh, this time I'm gonna go ahead and send an email to uh, all my application folks that uh, my my roles especially in case of SQL Server that please go ahead and check your applications that if it can connect to SQL prod instance it can connect to SQL UAT instance there is no issue uh, as far as con uh, connectivity goes uh, with the SQL Server UAT uh, instance and SQL Server prod instance right here once I get all the green signal then uh, the SA can go ahead and basically patch the node 2 because nothing is basically running on uh, node 2 and uh, we can uh, once the patching is completed on node 2 you can fail back all the resources to node 2 and make sure everything works on node 2 as well just follow the same steps as you followed for the node one so your patching will be completed successfully if you run into any issue please make sure that you run into issue and uh, take care of the issue on one of the node and at least one of the node that should be without pat uh, patching you need to make sure everything works on the patch node before you can go ahead and install the patch on node two otherwise uh, you will run into a lot of issues so that is my recommendation move everything from one node to another node and uh, once the node doesn't have any resources running you can go ahead and do the patching um, and um, up here uh, service packs hot fixes and windows patches in cluster now let's take a look real quick on cluster aware windows updates I'm gonna show you in if you click on uh, the name of your cluster you will see right here cluster aware updating and this is a uh, configuration you do need to configure a, a cluster aware updating what it does back behind the scene is that uh, it downloads the uh, updates and it look the updates in um, online or in a specific update directory and see if that update requires a reboot if it requires a reboot you need to configure that where it can fail over if you have more than one node in my case I have just two nodes you might have like four node cluster or five node cluster you need to configure right here by clicking on configure uh, cluster self updating option and you you can go through up here the cl add cluster role uh, roles uh, self -upda updating schedule if you wanted to schedule advanced option confirmation I'm not gonna go through that I will put together another uh, separate video for uh, configuring self update option uh, in uh, Windows cluster 2012 so basically what it does is that uh, you can apply patches from here once you configured everything you can click on update patches to the cluster uh, or preview updates for the cluster and also create or modify updating run profile uh, these all kind of uh, good settings right here 
the good thing about this is you can also click on analyze cluster updating readiness anytime to see that if this cluster is ready to take the patches or uh, ready to take the hot fixes and everything so basically this is it this is what I wanted to share with you how to install service packs and hot fixes and Windows patches in cluster and I hope this demo helps